What's up guys, Meredith with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we are checking out the Oracle H13 LED headlight bulbs fitting all 2007 and newer JK and JL Wranglers. Now the factory headlights are not that bright and if you're currently struggling with visibility and wish you had more, this is going to be a great solution. Now this is specifically a great option if your headlights are in great condition or even in good condition still and you don't necessarily need to or want to replace the entire light, you just need some better bulbs to see better at night and simultaneously want to get a more modern feel to the front end of your Jeep. This set will feature Philips Luxion LED chips, which sounds super fancy, but that's just the brand of LED, and they are high quality LEDs on the inside here. You're gonna get multiple ones in this top little portion that's covered uh, by glass. Now that's gonna work with your current headlight reflector to light up the road in front of you much brighter than your weaker factory bulb would. Now to be specific, the max lumen output for these is about 6,000 lumens, and the minimum is about 4,000 lumens, and the factory ones are roughly about half the minimum here, making these much more impressive, especially with that cleaner white color temperature rather than the yellowish hue that you usually have with these stock ones. Now that's gonna make your Jeep look much more refined at night and match with any other LEDs if you have them without having to pay big bucks for a full set. Now these will be efficient and durable for what they are with an aluminum housing, which is super common with this type of lighting, considering that it provides better heat dissipation than other materials. Now this is also going to have an integrated smart driver system on the inside of the housing, which essentially just regulates the temperature, keeping these running cooler and uh, better over longer periods of time while drawing lower energy. So there's no maintenance of a burnout like you would see with a halogen bulb. Now being each 13, these are also going to be completely plug and play with this adapter harness here. So these will plug right into your factory light, just like your halogen bulb. So you really don't have much as far as the install is concerned when it comes to wiring or just mounting them up. This kit will come in at about $225, which in my opinion isn't bad for what you're getting. You are getting a high quality LED light and a lot of technology in the back end to make sure that they're running efficiently. Now, again, if you don't necessarily need to switch up the look or the overall function of your factory housings, you just want a bump in performance, this is gonna be great. Not to mention there are more expensive choices for full headlights, so this might save you a little bit of money compared to uh, swapping out the whole light in general. Now these will also turn right into place and be plug and play without having to modify anything. So if you're looking for reliable performance without completely breaking the bank, this is gonna be a great set to do it with. Install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Like I said, it is going to be fairly easy and it should only take about 20 minutes to get the job done. Now you are gonna need some basic hand tools for this. One of our customers has actually completed this on their Jeep and we'll show you what you need and how to get this done. I do wanna note that the process will be roughly the same for both the JK and the JL. You just may have to use some different tools depending on what hardware is holding in your headlights, either a 10 millimeter socket uh, or a, a T. 15 Torx fix. So um, just keep that in mind. However, that's enough for me. Let's go ahead and get into the install. So you're only going to need a few tools to complete this project. Um, the first is a larger flathead screwdriver to get the pop clips off that hold the front grill on. Uh, you could also use a trim tool or a pop clip tool. The flathead screwdriver works fine. The uh, smaller flathead is great for removing the little tiny retainer clip that holds the headlight uh, bulb on to the lighting harness. Uh, also, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket. This is for getting the three bolts that hold the uh, headlight housing unit on and along with the impact wrench. Uh, you could use a hand ratchet as well. Either one would work fine. And that's really all you need. Hello, folks. Today, we are going to be going through the installation of the Oracle H13 LED replacement headlamps for my 2021 Jeep Wrangler JL. Now, in order to uh, remove the grill to get to the headlight housings, there are uh, six pop clips uh, along the top here that have to be pulled out with a uh, flathead screwdriver. You could also use a pop tool or a trim tool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take those six out and then we're gonna pull the grill cover off. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, when you pull up the, the pins, uh, you'll notice that the head of the pin just under it is a little, uh, a little gap you can get under and then pop just the head up. Once that head's popped up, 
you go up underneath the base and you pop that out. And the whole, the whole clip comes out like that. We're gonna repeat that five more times across the front here. One last one here on the end. Okay, all six of those clips are out and we're ready to pull the grill off. Let's go ahead and do that. So when you pull the grill off, you start <clears throat> at the top and just pull out. And there are some retaining clips down at the bottom uh, that are holding the bottom on. So you just grab the housing through the housing unit there. And now you have access. Now you have access to the uh, lighting housing. Okay, now that we've got the grill, front grill removed, we have access to the headlight housing units, and there are three 10 millimeter bolts holding each housing unit on. So we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to remove these three bolts. And then once you get those bolts out, housing unit should come right out like that. And you'll see there is a wiring harness connected to the housing unit. So and there's, a, there's a retainer clip there, so you want to push in on that clip and then just pull, and then the wiring harness is removed. Now we have access to the bulb, uh, so let's stop here and, and get to um, replacing the bulb. Okay, so now we have the headlight housing unit removed from the vehicle. It is face down on a flat surface and we want to access the back of the unit here to get to the bulb. So there's a waterproof cap right here. We're going to turn that counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn. That comes right off. And then we'll do the same with the bulb. We'll turn it about a quarter turn counterclockwise. And there's our bulb. It's our halogen, factory halogen bulb. There is a um, there's a, a clip right here that we'll have to take out to get the bulb out. So I'm going to pry that up and pull out to get that clip out. That's just a little safety clip. And then that'll expose this gray tab right here. Uh, so what we'll do now is push down on that tab and pull the bulb right out. This is the, the original bulb. Okay, so now we're ready to install the new Oracle light fixture. So the first step is to attach the driver. So this is the driver unit right here. Um, this is the end that's going to connect uh, to the wiring harness in the light housing. And if you look at the way this is made, there is a female tab there, male tab is on the driver unit, and that's going to plug into here, and we should hear, we'll click, yeah, we'll click there, and I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, safety clip back on, like that. Now the other end of the driver, there's a round plug, and on that round plug, you'll see there is an arrow on one side of it. Now that arrow is going to line up with the round plug on the light, the light fixture. Uh, and there is an arrow here that's going to line up. So we're going to push those two together like that. And then this cap here screws on. And you want a nice, nice tight waterproof seal there. Okay, now all of this, believe it or not, has to tuck into the light 
housing unit. So we're going to see if we can do that. Um, this looks a little tricky. But let's see how this goes. how I'm getting that in there but that uh, just tucks in as best you can around the opening and then you get close to the end of the wire here um, one of the tabs is slightly larger here that goes into the housing unit and that matches up with the larger slot there so we're gonna match those two up like that now we're going to turn it quarter turn clockwise. Okay, now we've got the wiring in the housing unit. The bulb is attached. All that's left to do here is put the waterproof cap back on. So let's go ahead and put that back on nice and tight. And we're ready to reinstall this one on the vehicle. Okay, now we're ready to install the light housing unit back on the vehicle. First thing we need to do is plug the, uh, the factory harness back into the light fixture. Um, there's a couple slots at the top corners here that match up with two tabs here, and this tab just goes on until it clicks, easy enough. There are a couple of alignment um, pins, and there's what these two smaller holes are for, so as you put this back on, you'll notice that the pins align with both holes giving you a nice uh, reference point on where it goes. And then you take your 10 millimeter bolts, three of those, and put those back, back on. One here, one up here. One over here. And then you use your 10 millimeter socket Okay, so this is a good time just to make sure that the light works. So I'm just going to use my remote and hit my on and off. And there we go. So now the grill is ready to go back on. Let's go ahead and stick that on. So to put the grill back on, just line it up, put the top on first, go down to the bottom and just give it a little tap, your clips to catch. Uh, and then you take your prop pins, insert the base portion in, and then push the head down on uh, all six locations. So that's going to wrap it up for my review and the install on these Oracle H13 LED headlight bulbs spinning all 2007 and in newer JK and JL Wranglers. And you can find this right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.